Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about another problem in finding probabilities of events. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Says, the following data have been gathered from a sample of children. Hair type is the first column. Then we have different hair colors, brown, blonde, black, red, and four types of hair colors. And then there are two types of hair types, wavy in the first row, straight in the second row. Brown, blonde, black, red, they're in columns, four columns. Uh, we know the sample size is 215, and we need to fill out the uh, rest of the empty boxes in the table that is given to us. So in order to do that, we will uh, move and create some space for us. Okay. Now I go back. Okay. So let's uh, first uh, look at the last column, which is the total of the two rows. The first row total is given as 43, and the second row total is not known, but the grand total of the sample size is 215. So from 215, if I subtract 43, I will get the total of the second row, which is 172. So I will fill it out over here, 172. Okay, for the second row total. Now we can total the red column, which is 3 plus 12 is 15. Okay, also we can total the brown column, 80 plus 20 is 100. Now, first column total is 100 plus the second column total is 20 plus the third column is unknown plus 15 is equal to 215. So 100 plus 20 is 120, plus 15 is 135. So from 215, if I subtract 135, I will get the total of the black column. So the sum of the four columns, 100 plus 20 plus unknown black plus red is equal to 215. We already know the total of brown, 100, total of blonde is 20, total of red is 15. Those three column totals add to 135. So from the grand total 215, we will subtract 135 to get the column of the total of the co black column. So that will be 215 minus 135. And that is equal to 80. So black column total is 80. Okay. Now we know the total of blonde column is 20 and straight hair is 15. Straight hair and blonde is 15. So wavy hair and blonde will be 20 minus 15, which is 5. And we also know the total of black column is 80. Then the total of the straight row and straight and black will be 80 minus 15, which is 65. Okay, so now that we have filled out the empty spots in the table, we can do the problem. So part A says, find the probability of wavy hair. Now the total of wavy, which is the first row, is 43. And that divided by the grand total, which is 215, is equal to 43 divided by 215 is equal to 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. Part B says, find the probability of brown, brown or blonde or blonde. Now notice the brown and blonde are in two columns. So the probability of brown or blonde blonde will be 
the sum of the two probabilities. They do not intersect because they are in a column. So the formula R uh, is equal to probability of brown plus probability of blonde. Okay, so part B. Continue with part B over here. So probability, probability of brown or blonde will be probability of brown. Total of brown is 100 out of 215 and total of blonde is 20 out of 250. So if you add the numerator, it becomes 120 out of 215. And that is equal to 120 divided by 215 is equal to 0 0.558. Okay. So part C, now we will do part C. So part C, let's do over here. Part C says, find the probability of red given it is straight here. So probability of red given, this line is given. That means this event happened first, straight here. Straight here. So what is the total of straight here? Is 43. Out of which how many are red here? Uh, red hair is 3. So it's 3 out of 43. So 3 divided by 43 is equal to... I don't want that, so I'll move that out. Okay, so is equal to 3 out of 43 is equal to 0 0.0698, you might say. Okay, so how did I do it? Probability of red, given it is straight hair. So straight hair has happened first. So I put the total of straight hair. No, I didn't do it correctly. Probability of straight hair. Total of straight hair is 122, and out of which red is 12. So I have to correct it. So let me take care of that correction first. So I will. Here is this. Okay. Go back to my pen. Okay. So total of uh, straight hair is the second row is 172. So that has happened first, 172 straight hair, second row total, okay? Out of which how many are red is 12. So 12 out of 172. So 12 divided by 172 is equal to point 0697. 0.0697. Okay. So again, red given straight hair. Straight hair happened first. Total of it is 172. Out of which how many are red? 12. 12 out of 172. So the answer is 0 0.0697. Okay. And this is 215 just to make sure. 215. Now let me move this a little bit up, up so that I get some space to do part D. Find the probability of complement of brown hair. Complement of brown hair. Okay. So basically, I have been asked to find out the probability of complement of brown hair. Complement events are written like this. Okay. B exponent C, which means complement of brown. Now, the law of uh, complement events in probability states that probability of complement of brown is 1 minus probability of brown. 
Okay. So brown. So it is one minus. How many brown total I have is 100. Out of grand sample size is 215. A grand total is 215. Sample size is 215. So it's 100 divided by 215 is 465. So it is 1 minus 0 0.465, which is equal to 1 minus 0.465 is equal to point zero point five. Again, I am required to find out what is the probability of complement of brown. Okay, so I write probability of B exponent C means complement of brown by the law of complement events. Probability of complement event is 1 minus probability of event. In this case, 1 minus probability of brown. Brown itself is 100 out of 215. So probability of brown is 0.465. So Probability of complement of brown is 1 minus 0.465, which is 0.535. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And please let your friends know about this video so that they also can watch it. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you next time when I come back with a new problem, new solution. Have a great day. See you. Bye.